after that fight you had another close fight didn't quite go your way but you didn't take an l on it you fought another one of my guys that i i, I think he's super talented as well king gabe rosado talk to us about that fight uh it was a very very close fight some people say you should have won that um talk yeah, to us about was, that it was, it was a draw a, it was a back and forth fight i mean i thought that was a good fight you know like i had come off i had fought jacobs and i took a year off and then some people take my shit took an easier fight but i felt like the rosado fight was perfect it was perfect at the time for me to to show you know what that I, that what i what i could show you know but you know that you know i ended up rosado used a, a good veteran trick that threw threw me off my entire game plan and he like, talk to me talk to us give us a story and they <laughs> they they complained about the hand wraps they were complaining about the hand wraps man like, mm. like they, they, they're trying to say i was doing some bullshit with the hand wrap like two different commissioners signed my hand wraps we were going back and forth in the locker room before the fight for like 30 40 minutes the whole time that everyone's arguing rosado was back there warming up oh at the very at the very set at, at the very last last minute the commission was like all right look man you just got to cut them off and you got to rewrap so then we both had to rewrap and then when they rewrap they were like all right well put your gloves on and go out there and i was like what the? i was like man, i can't i can't warm up like they were like no nah, you could just warm up on the way you know because when you on tv and the tv tells you to walk you got to walk you know so I had to go into that fight. It was already cold as hell in Kansas. We fought in Kansas in the middle of the winter. Mm. And like, I had no flow in the fight. Like you go to look, if you look at the flight, you could tell I had no flow in the fight. Like I was just like throwing a lot of like one, two shots. Like I had no movement. I had no flow. I had no, no, no turns. Like I felt so stiff and my arms felt so heavy, you know, just cause I came out there just trying to like blast off right away without even like you know warming up so my body was just i was fighting my body but even then i found a way like if he wouldn't have cut me in the 12th round and i wouldn't have lost the 12th round i would have won the fight you know so I, even then i was still able to manage and he fought a very good fight man he fought a very good fight like he was tricky like he was like kept his distance away like he only tried to like fight me when he wanted to and like he made it tougher you know like I said, it uh, had I been properly got ready for the fight before, like I think it would have been a different story. But given everything that it was, like he still like fought a very good fight. You know what I mean? Like he fought a good fight and he made it tricky for me. So y'all over there argue. Rosado had like 40, 45 fights at the time. You know, like Rosado, he, Rosado, a beast, Rosado man, and he's dog. been a beast. Like he a dog, and he was way bigger, big as hell. You know, and even and, and then. You know, but like I said, I took it all as a learning experience, man, and all that shit got me ready to beat the shit out of her. And that's what happened. Team Arson Music.